Join me in this video as we take a look at the build progress of hole number one of the Extreme Passage Maker 85, a long range explore yacht designed by Dennis Harjima from Art Nautica Design. This ocean crossing luxury yacht is made for serious all year cruising. It comes with lots of safety features, including a self rising capability with an angle of vanishing stability that is an incredible 180 degrees. During a recent trip to Antalya in Turkey, I had the opportunity to jump aboard and grab some footage of this impressive vessel as she is brought to life in the naval yachts boat sheds. But before we get started, please don't forget to give the video a like and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The XPM 85 has a length overall of 25.4 meters, which is 85 feet, a beam of 6.2 meters, which is 20 feet and three inches, and a draft of 1.6 meters, which is 5 feet and 2 inches. Hole number 1 will be powered by twin Scania 250 horsepower engines, giving her a cruising speed of 10.5 knots with a maximum speed of 16 knots. Her fuel capacity of 15,400 litres means that when cruising at 9 knots, the XPM 85 will have a range of over 6,000 nautical miles. Her aluminium hull will have six watertight bulkheads. She will also have a 25mm aluminium keel bar that will run from her bow to her transom. The thickness of her hull below the waterline will be 15mm, whilst the hull above the waterline will vary from 6 to 10mm. Three watertight compartments will be built into her double skin hull below the waterline. Each shaft skeg will also have substantial grounding plates. When you are cruising with your family and friends to far off and remote destinations, knowing that should the unforeseen occur, you will have the protection that you need is of course extremely important. Another crucial factor when disappearing over the horizon for months at a time is the level of comfort aboard any explore yacht. So with this in mind, let us look at the deck plan and general arrangement of the XPM 85. The enclosed flybridge with its raised headroom will be protected from the elements by strengthened glass that will give breathtaking views around the vessel. The helm chairs will be shocks, multi-adjust and shock mitigation chairs that will ensure that when the rough weather comes, the ride will still be comfortable. Even when standing in this area, you still get a sense of just how sturdy and well built the XPM 85 is. One of the things I love about the XPM 85 is the fact that you can walk full circle around the enclosed flybridge. There are also doors both to port and starboard of the helm position. There's also plenty of space for the boat's solar panels. The ladder that you see is temporary and is so the engineers and technicians can move quickly between the enclosed flybridge and the roof. I can't wait to see what this area of the boat looks like once she is launched later on in the year. Again, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel as that is one video that you will not want to miss. Next we come to the main deck. The vessel's tender will be stowed aft. Moving forward we find a seating and dining area. As we proceed into the living space, we see a galley to port with a large seating area forward located behind the helm station. The galley will be fitted with a Bosch cooker, freezers, fridges and microwave. Of course, when you are going to be spending extended periods at sea, then having plenty of cold storage space is essential unless you are happy to chow down on noodles and pasta for weeks at a time. When you stand in here and look around, it doesn't take much to imagine just how breathtaking the views from inside the XPM 85 will be. 
As we look aft from her helm position, it is worth talking about her marine electronics. When it comes to her navigation, Hull 1 will be fitted with a full suite of Furuno radars and chart plotters. She will also be equipped with sonar, and having sonar means that the vessel's captain will be able to get a good idea of what is happening just below the surface, as well as what is happening around the vessel. Before we take a look at the progress below deck, let us have a quick walk around the upper deck, starting from the vessel's port quarter. The side decks are very wide and enable fast and ready access to all parts of the upper deck, which is vital if, for example, you are operating the vessel as a pair. The boats will have an oversized rockner as a primary anchor with a secondary anchor in the form of a fortress keg. She will also have a Maxwell windlass that can be controlled from the foredeck and the two helm stations. The boats will also carry 100 meters of galvanized chain. There will also be two Lumar winches, one on the foredeck and one on the transom. As we head back out onto the main deck aft, you can see the access point that leads down into the engine room and machinery spaces. Having such access here means that the marine mechanics, as and when necessary, can access the engine room without going through the living areas. Now it is time to head down into what will be the engine room and accommodation areas. Hull number one of the XPM85 will have a three cabin layout consisting of one master, two guest cabins and a crew cabin. Naval Yachts, the builder of the 85, offers a fully custom interior design with a dedicated yacht interior designer. The air conditioning system aboard the XPM 85 has been designed to operate in the cold extremes of the Arctic, as well as the scorching and humid climates of the tropics. The owners of Pole Number 1 are experienced sailors from the USA who plan to sail around the world. At the very heart of the ethos of the 85 is its low maintenance. As there is no stainless steel on board, the number of hours required for ship's husbandry and other similar tasks will be very low. Almost every fitting on board the boat is crafted by hand from aluminium. The owners of Hull 1 have opted for a paint-free exterior finish, although naval yachts offer a painted hull and superstructure if an owner wants one. As we take a look around the engine room, lazarette and machinery spaces, let's talk a bit more about her specifications. Every system aboard the 85 is designed around redundancy. The Wheels Ridley steering system has been used partly for its easy valve operation, keeping the boat's rudders in sync while using a manual helm pump. There is also a controllable pitch propeller system that can increase the propeller's efficiency by changing the pitch according to the RPM. The XPM85 is equipped with Humphrey fin stabilizers that work on a 24 volt DC electrical system and enable excellent stability while motoring and when at anchor. The twin Scania 250 horsepower engines benefit from a worldwide service network and easy to find spare parts. They are known as low maintenance engines. Her 36 square meters of solar panels generate 63 kilowatts an hour. If you are cruising in an area with six or more hours of direct sunlight, the solar panels generate 38 kilowatts a day, which is not only enough for the house load on board, but is also enough to charge the lithium batteries. But what about the price? The XPM85 starts from 4.5 million US dollars with a delivery time of around 21 months. If you are interested in finding out more about this exciting and extremely capable long range liveaboard explorer yacht, then I will leave some links in the video description. Having seen hole number one in build, I cannot wait to show you, my subscribers, what the finished boat looks like. And remember, if you have got access to a boat that you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then you can contact me using the contact details in the video description.
please make sure you subscribe to my channel because coming soon I'll be sharing a video with you about this 1958 former RNLI lifeboat that has been converted to a liveaboard boat in the heart of London. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for updates. I will leave a link to my Instagram account in the video description. As always, I'd like to say a special thank you to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. And in particular, I'd like to say hello to my latest channel member, Derek Phillip. If you'd like to join my virtual crew by becoming a member of my channel, then you can click on the link in the video description or click on the join button that appears underneath the video if you're watching this video on your desktop. If you enjoy Explorer Yachts, Expedition Yachts and Trawler Yachts as much as I do, then you'll be pleased to know I've got loads of other videos that should keep you entertained. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.